I'm going to log in as a user who does not have administrative rights. And if I look in the dashboard, we'll see that there is no way to get to the group management screen. Luckily, I know the admin password. So I'm logging out and logging back in as admin. And now we have access to all the admin tools, including the group console. Let's browse the groups. There are two out of the box. If I click the Alfresco Administrators group, I can now add a new user to that group. Search for the user, click Add. Now that user is going to be able to log in and have administrative rights. Let's log out and log in as that user. Now when that user goes to the list of admin tools, everything is there as we would expect. Let's manage some more groups. Browse the groups. Let's create a new root level group for our fictitious company, Green Energy. This might be a root level group that we could add additional users and groups to. Let's add one for sales. Create the sales group. Now we'll have a sales group within Green Energy and within the sales group I could add people. Let's add a couple of test users to the sales group. And let's add another user to this group. Now I've gone ahead and created another group called Engineering, uh, which looks similar to the sales group. Now that we have a group, we could add them to the permissions on a folder. So let's go into the repository and create an example folder. And now we can manage the permissions on that group. If I click Add User or Group, I can do a search for the groups that exist. Let's look for that sales group I created earlier. There it is. Click Add. Why don't we add another group as well while we're here? Let's add the engineering group. There's the engineering group. And now I can assign roles to these groups. And this is much better than assigning roles to individual users because now I can just add people and remove people to and from the group. And I don't have to worry about adding them individually to different folders. What about starting a workflow? If I start a new workflow, maybe the group review and approve workflow. I can also select groups that exist in Alfresco. So if we wanted to start a new workflow and route it around to sales, we can now do that because we have a sales group. So these are a couple examples of things you can do with groups.